Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to update shop policies on Etsy website. So first of all, of course, all you need to do, just go and open the browser that you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. So of course, here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open your browser, just go here to the URL section and type etsy.com and hit the enter button. That will take you into this page. And of course, if you are already logged into your account, you'll find this uh, as your home screen with the welcome back sentence, of course, with your username or your name. If you don't have an account or you you are not just logging into your account, you'll find at the top right corner of sign an option. Click on it. And from there, you'll be able to create your account if needed if you don't have an account or just log in into your account of course you'll be able to do both options with a google account facebook account or even an apple account if you don't want to go through all the boring steps of creating your account or logging into your account so once you did one of the options as you as we said you will find yourself here at this home or at this main page with the welcome back sentence and of course as we said in the beginning of the video we would like to update our policies or our shop policies Simply, if we want to do that, we would like to go to the shop manager by clicking at the shop icon at the top right corner. From there, I'm just going to uh, find this page and I'm just going to click at the settings option here at the left. Now, I'm just going to look for shop uh, or policy settings, uh, which is here is it. Just going to click on it. And from here, I'll be able to update the retainer and exchange uh, policies, the cancellation policies, the privacy policies, or even the fixed policies. Of course, for me, uh, as you can know, as or as you noticed, you'll find here, I just have create policy, policy, create policy, create policy. I don't have any policies, but for you, of course, whatever policy you have, you'll have a pen icon as this one. Of course, just click on it and you'll be able to edit your policies. If you don't even find it, just go and delete your policy and of course create a new one with the details that you want to change. So that's what we actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.